But you guys lead our youth ministry here at Cross Point. But before we talk about the youth ministry, talk a little bit about your family. Let people know who you are a little bit. Well, I'm Callie. That's Jonathan. Um, and then we have three kids, Ruth, Elijah, and Miriam. Um, and we live in Shakopee. And let's see, John's a first grade teacher at Chapel Hill Academy. And then I'm an admin assistant at an aerospace engineering company in Shakopee. Um, and yeah. And you guys, in those eight years, you've had a lot of stuff happen. Uh, yes, we've had a lot of life happen. Um, we used to live in Spokane, Washington. That's where we met. Both of us went to Moody Bible Institute there um, and graduated from there. And Ruth was born there. Um, and then when Ruth was five months-ish, uh, John actually had a brain tumor, and he had that <laughs> removed. Um, he was ambulanced to Seattle because the doctors in Spokane couldn't do it. Um, and that all happened within like a day. And so that was just kind of crazy. It was non-cancerous, but it was on his pituitary gland. And so it was ruining his vision, some of his hormones, and just kind of crazy. God's hand just putting all the pieces, pieces together. He had really good insurance at the time, so everything was covered. And just how God's healed his body now. And he, yeah, is doing great. Um, and then, so that was, you know, that's first thing, you know, a year and a half, two years into marriage, have your first baby and that happen. You're like, okay, God, like, <laughs> that's enough for a while. Um, and then, as probably a lot of you know, Eli, um, he is five now, but he was four. He had brain surgery in March of this past year. Um, and so, but he is healed so well now. Everything, all of his symptoms that led up to it, um, he had uh, Chiari malformation, and so he had a part of the back of his skull removed because his brain was pressing on his spinal cord, so he had some eating issues, he had central sleep apnea, a lot of speech issues, um, a lot of things just leading up to this that we had no idea about, but now everything, his central sleep apnea is gone, um, his eating issues are way better, just a lot of things that we didn't know that was causing it are so much better now. Um, his speech is getting a hundred times better. So once again, God just orchestrating all the different moving parts of where we needed to be, the support that we needed, um, just at the right timing. That's awesome. In the midst of all that, you guys lead our youth ministry. Yep. Um, talk with us a little bit about the youth ministry, but also I want to hear from you. How is the youth ministry a blessing to you? Why do you want to take the limited time that you have as a family and invest it back into the youth of cross point i think as the youth you know the youth is the next generation right um given out to the youth you see just the future of christ building up the, the 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 church and everything that you see and so for us i think building into them is building into our future building into them is building into our marriage building into them is building into ourselves and really building that uh, foundation for ourselves and pouring it out to somebody else and really using the gifts that God's given us. And we really, when we came to Cross Point, we really wanted to use the gifts that we have that God's given us and pour it back into the church. And when Mike came up to us, we thought he was crazy because we had two of our own kids and he asked if we wanted to do the youth. And, you know, we were just been praying about it, you know, the whole time that we'd come here. And we said, God, if you lead, I will follow. And so, just like we sang earlier, you know, putting your feet to the floor and really committing. I think it was God saying, yeah, Callie and John, you have a biblical uh, foundation. You know, you have a Bible background in Moody Bible, and let's put your strengths and put them to the test. And uh, I think that's what he's done for us. Excellent. So, so our youth ministry meets Sunday nights um, here at church, yep. six, thir 6 o'clock to 8-ish. And it's quite a wide span of ages. We've got from fifth grade all the way up through 12th grade plus. <laughs> We've got several that continue to keep coming, and we're talking about how do we then expand maybe into a college-focused uh, group uh, here at Cross Point. But tell us a little bit about what you guys are using, how you're incorporating. We have a, a, a resource that everyone was made available to you called Right Now Media. Um, it's, it's, I've been told it's like Netflix for the church. And uh, But there's a lot more in there. We're going to see a video in a little bit about it. But talk to us a little bit about right now media is a resource you guys are personally using 
use it in your career and also using it here. So talk to us about that. I love uh, Right Now Media. I, I can say hands down, I use it every single day at school. Um, I just got introduced to Right Now Media this year. And for the first time, it was just like an opportunity where it brought resources from the church for me from all ages and things that you could really dive down deep and really grow your spiritual growth in from, I use it in first grade, so that can tell you a lot. And they have all kinds of resources to build their faith to um, little cartoons and things that they can do all the way to Callie and I use it for marriage and just marriage like devotions that you can go into um, even all the way to the um, youth and using it in the uh, for curriculum and things for our youth group and what I love about it is it just there's a lot of diversity in it and it really builds to where you're at or who you are there's lots of different speakers for it um, there's lots of different ways that you know if I'm young and I need somebody that's young and going through life with me that can speak to the youth I can find that if I need it for somebody like me and Callie where I'm like oh man how do we build our foundations of marriage on Christ I can find that and I think it's just like really cool because it brings the Bible alive to me and I think with media is such a big impact of our you know, just every day now that it really, um, I learn a lot through videos for me. And so just being able to go into that and just is encouraging for me. Excellent. And so, Callie, what's one, if they're a parent that's maybe online or a parent that's here, should I have my child come to youth group? What? Uh, yes, you should. Um, we, uh, we have a lot of fun. We have very solid relationships. Um, and since we do, we pour into each other, we're able to pour into Christ that much more and that much deeper. Um, we're able to have open and honest conversations. We're able to be open about our struggles and come to each other in, in prayer um, and just encouragement on how to keep going on life, what's going on around us, and how do we engage with that as Christians. Cool. And have a little fun. And have a little fun. Just a little. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna, we're going to watch a video in a minute, but I'm going to pray before you guys go down um, for both of you. I praise God for you. Um, I know that last year was pretty tough. And in the midst of it, you know, other people stepped up as needed and helped. And, uh, you know, Isaac was a large part of the youth ministry for a lot of years. And then now they're moved out to Pennsylvania. And I praise God for your faithfulness and for your hearts as a family. Um, and I just would like to pray for you right now. Lord, I want to thank you for, for Jonathan, for Callie, for their children, and for the youth ministry of Crosspoint. I know it's a very different youth ministry. As Callie has said, they really want to be there for each other. They want to dive deep. And I want to ask, Lord, that you would just give them each week, first of all, protection over their home, protection from illness, protection from time and the constraints of things and allow them to see Sunday nights be a time that actually feeds into them as a family rather than depleting them. I pray for provision for them, for their children as they have various needs at different times for care. And I pray for you to give them insight and wisdom to know how to lead and direct, that we would see our youth grow by number and by depth. We ask this in your holy name. Amen.